Okay, so the mnemonics operand and opcode. So, first of all, the mnemonics is the so the CPU chip makers, so the manufacturers, supply a set of mnemonics for the programmer to use with their processor. Area a set of readily me memorized program programming instructions that are later translated into pure machine code by a piece of software called the assembler. A code that is easier so a uh, mnemonic is a code that is easily remembered used to give the opcode or instruction. So an example of this is the when you the add part in add twelve. Opcode is the operation code. So opcode stands for operation code. It the is the mnemonic part of the instruction that indicates what it is to do. It is a single instruction that can be executed by the CPU. So it's just the same time of thing as same example as the mnemonics, which is it's the add part in add twelve. The instruction set so the assembly language consists of a set of mnemonics that can be used to program a CPU. There are a number of mnemonics that together make up the complete instruction set of the CPU. They can be grouped according to the kind of processing they cover. An operand is where it so it manipulates it is manipulated by the opcode. It holds data to be used by the operation given in by the opcode. An example of this is so 12 is the operand, operand since it is the data within add 12. So add bit is the opcode or mnemonic, and 12 is the operand. Now, symbolic addressing, so the reason why I didn't cover this in the main bit on addressing is just because it's in this subtopic bit. So, it use, it symbolic addressing, a use of characters to represent the address of a memory location, the real location in memory. Right then, so the next video on this is just going to be the uh, low-level languages questions that may occur. Thanks for watching this video.